up or get off a Milwaukee County supervisor wants to end a policy that allows passengers to ride county buses even if they don't have the fare. The idea though drawing plenty of opposition as political reporter Theo Keith found out. He joins us in studio. Theo. Ted and Mary the bus drivers union leader says drivers already get punched or spit on and confronting passengers over fare collection. Well it would only put them at greater risk. Route 14. When you ride the bus, you pay the fare. You know, it would seem like a no brainer, right? But County Supervisor Dan Sebring says bus drivers tell him that many do not pay and still get to ride because of a policy that drivers can ask just once for the fare. He says MCTS loses $28,000 a month in fare evasion, 337 grand a year. So the people that I represent think that the idea that you could get on the bus and say, I'm not paying the fare, and that you can ride. They think it's ridiculous. Sebring says drivers should tell the passenger this. The bus doesn't move till you pay the fare and get off. The driver's union is less than thrilled by that. Union President James Macon says his drivers get cussed at, spit on, and punched over fares. You want somebody to enforce it? We're not law enforcement. We are bus drivers. Our job is to drive a bus, not collect a fare. Confronting passengers would make the job more dangerous. I'm not going to put my driver's life on line for 225. An MCTS spokesman tells Fox 6 that it would also delay the bus, making paying riders late. The spokesman says, we think our current policy makes the most sense. The county board will take up the proposal at a meeting next week. A committee already shot it down, with opposition coming from supervisors like Marina Dmitrievich. She sees Sebring's proposal as this. Basically to criminalize people that were unable to pay a bus fare. Sebring says he would like to see more law enforcement officers on the bus, but that would take cooperative agreements between MCTS and each municipality the bus rides through, and some law enforcement agencies say they simply don't have the manpower. Ted and Mary, back to you. It is